Hello and welcome to Thesis Defense Tips. Defending a thesis is one of the critical challenge for many students. So, considering this, I will discuss about the most important tips that will help you a lot in defending your thesis successfully. And if you apply all the tips mentioned in this lesson, I am sure you will have a chance to get high score. In this lesson, there are three contents which are tips before defense, tips during defense and tips after defense. Thus, stay with me till the end of my discussion. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification button to get updates. Thank you. Let us start from tips before defense. One of the important tips that you have to do before defense is know your thesis very well. After all, you are the one who knows your thesis most. Even though you did your research and you are the one who knows your research, who know your thesis most. Because of the fact that doing a thesis takes longer time, you may forget some portions of your thesis that you wrote earlier times. Thus, you have to read and reread your thesis multiple times to be familiar with each details. You have to understand each topics and you have to know even where each topic was located in your thesis. For example, if the examiner asked you a question and if you want to show the answer from your thesis paper, thus you have to quickly locate where that particular topic was located in your thesis paper. The other point is that not only understanding the topic is adequate, but also you have to know the rationale of using that topic. For example, if you used probability sampling over non-probability sampling, so you have to understand about the probability sampling first, and you have to know why you choose the probability sampling over the non-probability sampling. So you have to know the rationale behind. And the other point that you have to apply is that you have to participate in others' defense before conducting your own. By conducting or by participating in others' defense, you may get experience or exposure and you may know what are the type of questions that most examiners raised for the presenter. And you may learn many more experience by doing that. And the other is be ready for common questions. There are common questions that you may get on the internet, on Google, or you may get on the uh, YouTube channels. So you have to know those most common questions raised by the examiners frequently. You have to anticipate questions by reviewing your work critically. You may review critically. You may see the possible weakness or the possible controversial points found in your thesis. If you want to know the most common thesis defense questions and answer, I do have a separate lesson and I will put the link in the description box below. Continuing to the tips before defense, the second major uh, point is PowerPoint preparation. With this regard, if your school or university have a guideline of PowerPoint, so you have to use that and you have to respect that guideline. Anyway, in preparing the PowerPoint, you have to create a concise and clear presentation covering the key points, covering the main points, not every point. Don't copy from your thesis and paste as it is. Rather, you have to make it concise and you have to just write only the key points of your thesis in your uh, presentation in your PowerPoint. Your audience, that means your examiners, want to listen much more than they read. So you don't read line by line. You have to avoid reading line by line. Know the time provided for presentation. Actually, you have to ask, you have to ask maybe the coordinator or some other concerned body about the time allotted for the presentation and practice several times with that allotted period, with that allotted time, so as to finish with your allotted time without any delay. Practice, if possible, practice with audience. For example, you may use your friends, you may use your colleagues and ask feedbacks from them. If possible, it is better to practice with similar places that you will 
present your defense because that will make you to be comfortable with that specific place with that specific room total slide depends upon the uh, types of your research and depends upon many factors with regard to the number of slides there are different factors that may affect your number of slides but in general it is good to be less than or equal to 30 and it is better to use the white background with the black text color because there is no contrasting effect and regarding the font size the title should be greater than or equal to 40 size and the body should be greater than or equal to 24 and it is and it's better to avoid or to use less animation and it's better to avoid or use less artistic font style proceeding to the tips before defense vision is prepared mentally and physical so under this you have to stay positive and believe in your work to arrive at this stage you just did a lot of work so stay positive and believe in your work if possible try to know the research interest of your examiner and get in a rest just the night before your defense you have to avoid the last minute studying by avoiding the last minute studying you have to get adequate rest the night before your defense you have to relax yourself during the defense maybe in the morning so you have to eat well and stay hydrated during your defense day it is better to eat well and stay hydrated and it is good to bring water to your defense if it is allowed know the defense hall and schedule ahead and it is good to arrive earlier in the defense hall at least 30 minutes before your defense regarding the protocol it is good to keep your protocol. It is good to keep your dressing style and hairstyle. Now let's move to tips during defense. First one is you have to stay calm and confident. So you have to stay calm and confident. Then you better start by greeting and thank the audience and the examiner for their time. And then introduce yourself and your title. Maybe here you may include your discipline or you may include your department as well don't read your slides line by line and don't speak too fast when you are presenting your work since eye contact with the examiner and the audience is very important so proper standing is essential so when you are standing you have to ensure that you are not blocking the uh, powerpoint projected and the other issue is you have to use your time properly the other point is that you have to have a pen and a paper to take the questions and the comments from the examiner when the examiners are asking or providing a comments you have to avoid interrupting examiners first of all listen carefully and if you didn't get the questions that they asked for you so you can ask for clarification the question raised by the examiner can be divided into two the easy one or the questions that you know very well and the questions that you don't know so you have to start from the questions that you know very well and you have to answer that first and if you encounter a question that you don't know so you have to say i don't know you have to say i don't know you have to be honest to say i don't know and you have to accept the comments you have to accept all the comments provided by the examiner and you have to end with thank you for their time and feedback you have to thank the audience and the examiner for their time and for their feedback coming to the tips after defense so the activities that you have to do after defense include this take the contact address it may be their email or the mobile of your examiner for future communication and make necessary revision to your thesis based on the feedback of your examiner and submit the final versions of your thesis to the examiner to get their signature this is the end of thesis defense tips and if you apply all the tips mentioned in this lesson i am sure you will have a chance to get high score this is the end of our today's discussion and thank you for listening just to remind if you are new to my channel Please subscribe and hit the notification button to get updates and if you like this particular video please give me thumbs up and share to your friends thank you